Should you use multiple take profits or targets in your trading? That's today's lesson. We're gonna be talking all about the idea of having multiple take profits, taking partial profits, maybe even moving stop losses into break even. Let's dive into this topic and talk about some of the pros and cons of using multiple take profits right after this. Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Nick. I make all sorts of Forex content here on YouTube. And today I've got a pretty common question. Should you use more than one take profit level or multiple targets in your trades? Guys, if you don't know me already, my name is Nick. I make all sorts of Forex content here on YouTube. And I do ask that if this stuff is helpful to you, if these videos that I'm putting out for free are helpful to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way to support what we do here for free on the channel. So we're taking a look at this concept. Should you use multiple take profits? And what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna break down some of the pros, cons, and at least give you guys my opinion on on whether or not this is a good idea. So traders often wonder, um, you know, should I just use a single take profit? The example being something like, you know, you have your entry right here, right? So the market, let's say, comes down to your level. And as price comes in, you're looking to, let's say that you're long. The idea here is that you just take a single take profit and that you have a single stop loss right here. So you have your entry, you have your entry, you have your stop loss, and you have your take profit. And this is just uh, kind of the standard of an entry, right? You have a nice little risk to reward, you have one take profit and one stop loss. Well, the question then becomes, why would you want to use multiple take profits in your trading? Well, the kind of one of the biggest pros or arguments for using more than one target in your trading is that by using more than one target, you can do things like partial take profits, meaning that if the price starts to go in your direction, you can actually Actually take a bit of the profit off the table and let the rest of the trade run. Let me get into an example. Okay, so a pretty common scenario that I hear a lot of traders uh, get into is the fact that they take a, take a trade and it starts to go in their direction and then ultimately goes back against them. So let's use our buy example again here. Let's say that you have an entry right here, right? So you've taken a buy. Price came down to your level, whatever your reasoning is, let's say it's Fibonacci retracement, let's say it's a moving average uh, you know, retest or a significant structure point, you're taking a buy trade for whatever reason, um, and you're into the trade, right? So price come down, you're into the trade right here, you are currently long in the markets. Well, you've got your stop down here, right? So your trade is, you've got some risk management uh, in place, you have a stop in the trade, and now you're saying, well, as price starts to go, where am I gonna put my targets? If you just use one take profit, let's say that you have it up here, right? We'll put TP for take profit. If the market starts to go in your favor, sometimes people have this issue where the market will actually work out in their favor. So when they buy, the initial uh, decision to buy there was actually a good choice, right? They actually had a great setup. They took the trade and the market started to move in their favor. But then sometimes what happens is the market reverses on them before hitting the take profit. Right, so whatever that is, let's say you have news or you just have a shift in the market and you see the market turn back and go the other way. Now you're out of the trade and you did not take any profit, right? So you ultimately hit your stop loss and it's a negative trade, right? So the idea here is, well, what if we, instead of doing just one take profit, what if we took some of the profit along the way? And this is really where we get this concept of using multiple take profits. We have take profit here, but what if we also did a take profit here, right? So we could call this take profit one, and we could call this take profit two. And what this would do is let's say that it takes half the trade off the table, okay? So if you had, let's say that you had um, one standard lot, this would take, you know, like you might take two trades of 0.50 a piece, right? So let's say two X times 0.5 lots and you have two positions open, right? So if the market moves in your favor, let's say that you take half here and you would have closed out a profit there uh, on that first half of your money. And then if the market at this point reverses and goes all the way back down here, well, you've got minus one half here. So in fact, you've actually just taken off some of the risk and I think you would have broken out, uh, you would have ended up break even if these distances are the same. Let's assume that, you know, I know it's not perfect, but you have the stop loss here and you have the take profit here. The market moves in your favor, so you take partial profits here. Now, what does this do? Well, it takes some of the risk off the table for you and a lot of people like to do this concept because it gives them the satisfaction of being like, okay, 
I like that this market has moved in my favor. I'm gonna go ahead and close out part of my profits here. So that way if the market reverses, then no big deal that ends up being like a, a break even trade. The, the kind of other side of that is that if the market does decide to continue, well then not only do you profit from your initial take profit here at the take profit one, but you also get a chance to close out an even bigger profit if the market continues in your direction. So this is the idea here. This is one concept of using more than one take profit to your advantage. Um, now, if you're asking, do you do this personally, Nick? Uh, I have one strategy that I trade that does indeed have either partial profits or the concept of moving your stop to break even, which we'll talk about in this video here. If you wanna talk about how to trade using uh, moving stops to break even or moving stops into profit, I highly advise you check out that video. Thank you for joining me and we will see you next time.